guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today we're gonna be doing um kind of dramatic look so we're gonna be using my i'm gonna be using my ashley lee cosmetics uh purse and it looks like this is the clutch palette um and then i wanted to actually wear this color right here a little bit of this on the inner corner and then on the bottom of my line then i'm gonna go with i'm thinking this this hot pink and you guys are gonna see how beautiful and pigmented this palette is um a lot of have been actually messaging me that it's an amazing palette the colors yes they do stand out guys so as you can see i already did my eyebrows i kind of primed my eyes uh with the la concealer colors which is like this one right here instead of using my other colors and the other one that i'm going to be using is my elf my elf concealer which is you guys have seen it a bunch of times when i wear this just to kind of make sure that the colors are going to stick there because um if you can see it's a little bit cracking the la colors so i'm just going to go over through that one and yeah guys okay so for under my brow as my base i'm going to use this white one right here Okay, so now, like I said, I'm going to be jumping on with this neon green right here, which is going to be the inner corner. Go with this dark emerald green. And here, you just want to keep blending to erase those harsh lines, if you have any. Um, you only have to blend because the colors are well blended. So, just a little bit, and it actually blends really, really good. Oh my gosh, these colors are so beautiful, guys. Do you guys agree? Oh my gosh. Okay, now that we're done with that one, I'm going to go quickly and curl my lashes. Or, hmm. I feel like I want to put eyeliner, but then I don't want to. So, yeah, let's just put eyeliner. Okay, so the liquid eyeliner that I'm gonna be wearing is the NYX, of course, uh, liquid in matte, and it looks like this. And as you can see, I just did a very thin line on the black because I wanna make sure that the pink is gonna come out and um, pigment it, but not so much. Then I'm gonna go on with the white right here, a thin line, so it can make I make sure that it's gonna stick out a lot. So for this case, I'm gonna use NYX in white base regular white base um if you guys get this at the store make sure you guys always check it because it had happened to me already so many times where i think i grabbed the one number one is esb01 which is white and then there's another one that is almost the same but it's a two and that one is like a glitter when you get that one it looks okay but then it kind of like has glitter with it so when you put on your your eye eyeshadow it always brings kind of like a glitter. So if you're into the glitter section, then it's okay. You go ahead and um, don't worry too much. But if you want like a matte matte, then always go with the number one. Now I'm gonna go in with my jumbo black pencil from NYX. Like, I don't know you guys, but with me, when I'm at work, I don't know why this pencil, like it, it goes on smooth, very nice and everything. And then once I'm at work, like it literally comes up, up to right here, like a line, so I'm like, guys i can't wait till i use like all the colors from this palette it's like oh my god this has been my obsession ever since i bought it then we're gonna put very little this palette i got off from ross and it was how much was it i think it was 7.99 so anyways i'm gonna go on with this one right here just very little right here so it can kind of like pop um i'm also working on the next video i have uh this palette that i uh, purchased off from amazon and once you open it ta -da! so i'm gonna do my own diy um i'm gonna do my own pressed powders hopefully everything comes out good and if it comes good then you guys can definitely see all the process that i'm doing it how i did it so that way you guys can have your own and you guys won't have to buy like 50 60 dollars of the press some of the press glitters this one is cool but um i still feel like i still have to use glitters on top of it uh so it can kind of stick and look a little bit more vibrant so you guys gonna see um from where i apply it and then the the loose glitters that i have that i already have um i have to use on top this one i'm gonna get a flat tiny fluffy brush and I'm gonna dip it into that green 
This is this is my glitters that I I made a long time ago. Um, I did a mushroom scratch. I just literally went to um, Joanne's Fabric and I got the loose little packet glitters. Uh, this is craft glitters, and I bought this whole case that it came with the um, with the little bottles inside, and it also came with the part um, with the cover. So I just pretty much dumped each glitter and it looks beautiful. You can see like very, very nice. So um, I have other other glitters that I order from Amazon as well. No, I'm sorry, for eBay as well. And I want to get them. Um, I think I'm going to do with those ones, the pressed glitters, because they're like beautiful, but there's not that much. So, okay. And then we don't have exactly the color of that one. So I'm just gonna go on and use this kind of like a faded green. So this is my loose glitters and on top of it, it looks beautiful. It stands out more. So uh, this is what I've been doing lately. So I do my own press glitters and see how they come out. Hopefully they come out good. My, I'm gonna use my beautiful Soul Lashes in the style of Victory. This has been my favorite. So I'm gonna use the tool that Soul Lashes gave me. Okay, now that that's done, everything, I'm gonna jump in very quick to my foundation routine. So for this case, I'm just gonna pretty much skip this step, but the foundation I'm gonna be using is the Outlast CoverGirl. Um, yeah, the Outlast CoverGirl, I mean, there's no sun, but I just want to try. I love to mix my foundations here and there, but the one that I be using a lot, as you guys have seen in my Instagram and other videos, is my Rymel, Rymel Lasting Finish, the 25-hour breather. This one is being amazing, guys, um, and it has SPF. This one has SPF as well. I think it has 20. Yeah, it has SPF 20. So this is another one that you guys can wear. Um, and it's like a medium coverage. It's not full uh, full coverage. So just to give you a heads up on that. So right away, I'm going to use my Juno and Co sponge. If you guys haven't got this beauty blender, you guys need to. Because this one, it doesn't suck your uh, foundation at all. And you can see how many, how much foundation. I just put like a the small drop and look how much it actually um, brings out. So what I like to do is go with this one to kind of, it's, it works, I, I could say, I could kind of compare it to the silicone sponge. So none of the foundation will suck up on this beauty sponge. And then what I do afterwards to make it like a smooth finish, then I use the Real Technique body sponge. Go on with my Real Technique body blender. And I have mentioned this guy so many times of how easy and fast I have been blending my foundation very fast. And with the other ones, the little ones, they're amazing too. But this one, since it's big, look how many you like. So as for my neutral lips, I'm going to use the Rymel Stay Matte Lip Color in the shade Be My Baby. And is the number is 700. It looks like this. Since I already have so much going on in the eyes, I want to kind of tone it down on the, uh, the lips. So let's get started, guys. Hey guys and that is it for today's look this concludes my final look guys i highly recommend that palette you guys it's an amazing palette that you guys can work with uh whether you want neutrals like exaggerated or this ones i'd be doing exaggerated colors because this palette for me it means so much because um most of the palettes that i have purchased all of them so far have been coming amazing but um, there's other tutorials where like I have seen and they the palettes look extremely amazing and then it's like once you apply it, it's like oof that's kind of not really you know the look or they're not that pigmented but this one guys it actually is really pigmented the palette so if you guys want to go ahead and head over it's just $19 plus they even give you a discount code which is everything if I'm not mistaken I wanted like I said faster so they charged me $8.99 $5.99 or $8.99 um, but everything together literally cost me $25 so it's it's a big deal that you guys cannot miss it because once they are out of stock who knows if they're gonna restock and you guys are gonna lose that chance so that is it you guys make sure you purchase that palette guys and see you guys to the next look bye